I try any of the crazy stuff you see here on our channel, Mr. Original Concept Garage, as they are always performed on closed off streets. Whoop. We're putting an upgraded uh, oil pump. It's, it's a Coso. It's, uh, this thing runs a lot more efficiently for our uh, 232 Tata water cooled four valve. Yeah. The only difference is the, the thickness of the housing. The overall yeah, pump itself is the same thickness. They're the identical as far as the actual shaft height and all that. So there's no problems with using the factory. I've seen a couple people on, on Facebook, I've seen y'all talk asking about, you know, how, some people said they had a problem trying to fit the guard down. We well, didn't have a problem at all, but. There is no difference in, yeah. in the overall height of it. Yeah, because, because that one is just, it's it's just tapered right there. You, you see, look at yeah, this. It's like the, the actual little neck right here in, mm -hmm. in, in the center is, is dropped down further on this one, okay? On the high flow one, the whole housing is thicker and it has less of a neck on it. See that? Yep. So the, the pump is the same thickness. And with, this, with the, the gear and everything sitting on top of it, it don't make a difference. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> once it's all bolted together, you use your factory alignment shield here, everything fits perfectly. And also, make sure that you all, you see yeah, this. There's an arrow, that, that is the flow. And like, you have to make sure that the oil holes, the input and output on the oil flow is going the right direction. And this make, little... make, Mystery hole. You see, guys, this is our first Tata. Mm. This is our first Tata build ever. You know? I mean, this is our first time ever building a water cooled four valve. Period. We're used to, you know, air cooled four, you know, two valves. It must be like a purge hole or something. We're used know. to like, you know, Rocketta, you know, Tau Tau. This is our first ever Tata though. That's pretty and you, hey, you guys are with Mister Original Concept Garage. Hit that like and subscribe button right now. If you want to learn more, you know, we're gonna be making a lot of videos like this. We're going to be taking you guys on the road to the Smoky Mountain Small Bowl Rally 2022. So y'all going to be on this adventure with us. Remember, you know, we're going to be, this is all about, you know, remember our, our warriors, you know. I mean, a lot of them come home, you know, and they have PTSD. And, you know, we want to try to make sure that maybe we can get our veterans on bikes, you know, and get them in groups and, and make, help them open up more. Help them feel more alive, you know, more free. So you guys can help us by going on there and... Uh, Hey, you support us by just even watching it. Hit the, hit that like button. You like know, help the algorithm. Yep. And uh, you know, we're gonna be giving prizes away. So uh, we're gonna be giving another prize away. I think in another month. Um, this next one's probably gonna be a, a part of some kind. And we're gonna, you know, we'll have a, a question that you have to go through our episodes to to find it. You know, the answer. You have to watch our episodes to be able to find the answer. But we're gonna go ahead and finish this out. So you got to hook this on up. I'm just going to lightly tighten the bolts because, I mean, we'll probably have this to back off I'm sure a we couple will. of times. I'm just... Yeah, we'll, we'll get the crank and stuff yeah, in. Yeah, I'm just pre-assembling to make sure everything fits properly. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, we have no crankshaft in there, as you can see right, right at the moment. Chain on here. Where's the bolts for the cover at? Uh, I think they're over. I, I'll they're probably in a bag, probably still. But you, you, you just show them like how it fits on there. Yeah. And then, I mean, check us out, guys. Voila. Voila. It's perfect. Fits flat, flush. Yeah, Look, right there, no plenty of room for the, you know, the crank. It clears it just like the factory one. Yep. So there you guys have it. That's how you put a Coso high flow oil pump. Um, what's that package? I will show how, how much more it flows over the stock. Right All right, guys, here's the flow rate on this right here. Uh, on this uh, Coso, so you can see right there. Look how much better it is on your, you know, RPM curves and stuff. So that's that's nice. So, and he's got a nice little diagram right here. It shows you how to install everything. And you know, like I said, it's our first Tata. You know, take this adventure with us, guys. We're gonna be coming back tomorrow to do, you know, our engine. Uh, sorry, we're gonna start our engine assembly probably tomorrow after we build our this table. Is Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the freezer. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, that's another trick, guys. Hey, put your cranks in the freezer. That way, you get it good and cold. That way, when you're blocked, you can. That way, it just drops in. It just drops in. Yeah, I mean, it'll just seat right in. You don't want to hit it. So, we're gonna be able to table tomorrow, so we can 
you know, we're gonna build a whole table just to, you know, assemble our motor. But you know what? Hey, we'll have it for future builds too. Uh, made you look. It's the Road to Smoky Mountain Small Bull Rally 2022. Responsibility for that, Pepper. Try to control myself, Pepper, try to control myself. I'll be damned.